Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can manually adjust the width of any of the columns in your table or even the table itself. Hover your mouse pointer over the right edge of the table until your cursor turns into a double pointed arrow. When it does, click and drag to the right to expand the width of the table and release your mouse in the desired location. The same thing can be accomplished with the individual columns within the table. Hovering over the lines between the columns will turn the cursor into a double pointed arrow, which you can click and drag to adjust the width of the columns. If you need to adjust the height of a row, just click into the row at the end of any content within the cell and then press the Enter key on your keyboard. OneNote will add a line to the row, thereby adjusting its height. To format the contents of a table, you need to first select what to change. One way to select cells or content within cells is to simply click and drag over them. Another way to easily select an entire row, column, or table is to click into that column, row, or table you want to select, and then click or tap the button that matches your selection within the Select Button group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab within the ribbon. Once you have the content you want to change selected, you can change the alignment of the text by clicking a choice within the Alignment Button group. In the Format button group, you can use the Shading drop-down to apply shading to any of the selected cells in your table. Simply select the cells to which you wish to apply shading, and then click the Shading drop-down. Then click or tap to select a color from the color palette, or select the No Color choice to remove shading that has already been applied. Keep in mind that if you wish to apply shading to only a single selected cell, just click or tap to leave your cursor in that cell, and then apply the shading of your choice. You can also click the Home tab in the ribbon to apply any of the formatting options that we discussed earlier in the course. The Sort feature allows you to sort the column data in your spreadsheet in either ascending or descending order. To use this feature, click into the column by which you want to sort the rows in the table, and then click the Sort button that appears in the Data button group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Choose either the Sort Ascending or Sort Descending Sort Order command from the drop-down. Also notice that the Header Row command at the bottom of the Sort drop-down is checked. When the Header Row command at the bottom of the Sort drop-down is checked, the top row of the table is treated as a header row, which removes it from being sorted with the other rows in the table. If this command is unchecked, the top row of the table will be sorted with the rest of the rows. Now, if you prefer to not display the lines in your table, you can easily hide them. On the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon, notice the Hide Borders button in the Format button group. This is a toggle button that turns the display of the lines of your table on or off. Note that this works on the entire table and not just certain rows, columns, or cells, as you can do with other Microsoft applications such as Excel and Word. Another feature related to spreadsheets is the Convert to Excel Spreadsheet command located in the Convert button group on the Layout tab of the Table Tools Contextual tab in the ribbon. Once you create a table in OneNote, you can click this command button to convert the table into a fully functional Excel spreadsheet. You can then click the Edit button in the upper left corner of the spreadsheet in the OneNote content window. Excel will open in a new window where you can edit it using all of the features of Microsoft Excel. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.